Hey, 3 d 4 e Hope everything is going well. Today we're going to talk about the process of turning your two-dimensional drawings and pictures into three-dimensional SVG files that you can then 3D print. This is a process that is very valuable, especially if you don't have that much experience in CAD, because it allows you to more or less take anything that you make in 2D and turn it into something in 3D. So the first step is to get a 2D image. I'm just going to search up the 3 d 4 e logo and we're going to use that. When you save an image to your computer, it saves information regarding the colors of each pixel, but that information is totally useless to any software that you want to use to turn this into a three-dimensional object. In order to make this into a three-dimensional object, we have to convert this image file into a file that instead contains information about where the colors change. So information about where it's black and where it's white in our case. And for that we're going to go to uh, png to svg.com. There are lots of SVG converters out there on the internet. This is my favorite one. Just make sure that you have an ad blocker before you go on it because there are a whole bunch of ads otherwise. We can upload our file using the choose a file button. For me it's on the desktop. And the most important thing that you have to do in terms of the settings here is set the number of colors equal to a very low number. In our case, it's two because it's very clear that it's just a black and white photo, so it's two or three. But uh, if you needed uh, it to be a, a three or a four, that's all right, just as long as it's not a very high number because that can screw you up later in the process. When I hit generate, it reduces the image, generates the vector, and as you can see, it, it, it came out pretty well. Um, it looks like essentially what it should look like, which is a sharpened and more clearly delineated version of the same image. We can download the SVG by clicking the download SVG button right there. And I'm going to show it in Finders just so that I can give it a different name. That's not at all what I meant to do. Okay, uh, let's call it 3d4e.svg. Next is to load up Fusion 360. I already have it loaded up here. We're going to import the SVG by going to Insert, Insert SVG, Select SVG File, and then we're going to find it in our files. So in my case, it's called 3d4e.svg. And we can drop that right into Fusion 360 like that. And then it tells us to select a planar planar face, and I can just select the bottom plane right there. I'm going to direct you over to my good friend Bryce Hetner, who's going to show you what the next steps are. Hi everyone, this is Bryce, and I'm going to teach you how to take your SVG and turn it into a 3D printable object using Fusion 360. To start, at the top right, you press Insert and click Insert SVG. And then on the right side, click this little folder icon, navigate to where you save the SVG, mine's named Image to Vector from the website, and choose which plane you want. I'm going to choose the bottom plane. From there, you get a sketch of whatever SVG you made. And then you're going to press solid and click extrude. And then you're going to want to click on the parts that you'd like to give depth. I'm going to choose the 3D4E and the logo. And then on this right side, I'm going to give it a distance of however much I want, in this case, 20 millimeters. And then I have my, my 3D printable object. Now I just need to save it as an STL which is a 3D model. I'm going to right click over here on the left side where it says the name of the object, scroll down to a save as STL, set the make sure the refinement's on high and press okay and save it. 